church Rudy here. Um, I am actually excited because uh, we have been doing these devotionals on our Instagram page um, for a couple days now. I don't know when you guys will see this video, so it may be a lot of them have been posted or maybe not a lot of them have been posted. But uh, it's been cool because we've just been sharing what the Lord is doing in our lives and what he's doing in the life of the church. Um, and this today, I wanted to share a verse that um, it's, it's interesting how it's evolved over my walk with the Lord. And the verse is Psalms 37. It is 37 verse 4. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. So that's a verse that we've all seen. We all have seen it at Hobby Lobby, you know, in the big old plaque with the calligraphy. Um, it's a verse that everyone knows, but it's a verse that for me has been transformative because it's changed so much and it's made, uh, it's changed into a different image as I've, as I've grown with the Lord and as I've followed the Lord and dove into scripture and, and spent more time with him. Um, growing up, I, I remember the first time I saw that verse, I took it the wrong way and I was like, God, if I learn to be happy with you, then you'll give me what I want because that means I've learned to be happy and content um, and that's far from the truth you see growing up um, the more time that I spent with him the more time that I dove into scripture with him and when I finally found my heart for worship and my passion for worship I realized that when that verse says delight yourself in the Lord it doesn't mean learn to be happy it means be content be joyful find joy find desire in the Lord and what that looks like for me now is that Man, it's different when I don't get a chance to spend one-on-one -on -one time with the Father. That intimacy is something that I crave. It's something that I have to have in a good way because I know that when I don't get to spend time with Him, then something's wrong in me. It's it's the creation longing for its creator. So when I read that, when you read that, delight yourself in the Lord. It's saying, enjoy time with the Father. Enjoy being in His presence. As a worship leader, I always tell my students, that part of my role is to create an atmosphere of worship. Um, but that doesn't happen just on a Sunday. You see, what happens is during the week, all the songs that we send out in the set list, man, I'm leading them in my room and I'm leading myself in a moment of worship and creating that atmosphere in my heart because that atmosphere isn't created for me just showing up on a Sunday and picking up my guitar. No, that's created because I've spent time and I've delighted myself in the presence of the Father. And then we get to the back half of the, of the verse, which is, and he will give you the desires of your heart. What I have realized over the past couple of years is that the desire of my heart isn't a thing. It isn't a situation, a title, a position. What my heart desires and what my heart longs for is the creator. It's him. Because my heart's fulfillment doesn't come from any of these things that are around me or the things that I can possess. My heart's desire and longing is to be fulfilled by the Father is to be fulfilled by the creator. So a verse that says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. The way that I would translate it is, God, I love spending time with you. I am delighted to be in your presence. And Lord, my heart's fulfilled because it's in the presence of the one person who can fulfill it. So this week, as you spend time in scripture, as you spend time in prayer, remember, that he is the fulfillment. He is what makes us whole. He is what makes us complete. So delight yourself with the Lord and he will fulfill your heart's desire. He will fulfill your life. He will make you whole because there's nothing better than spending time with our Heavenly Father. Amen.